Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Call of Duty being stuck on the server queue screen. So if it says the servers are experiencing high volume, you have been entered into the queue and will be placed into a game shortly. This should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing I would just recommend, which is the most obvious part based on just the error message, would be that there's a likely there's a high load on the Activision servers. And you might just want to go check out their website. They'll actually be able to tell you what the server status looks like. So I will have a link in the description of the video here, guys, to it. And if there's any current issues with the platforms, it should list them out here. So that's the first thing I recommend taking a look at. Something else you could try as well if you're still having a problem would be to make sure your internet speed is good. So try other websites. If you want to do like on Google, like you can do a speed test. Try and connect to a local server and see how fast you know, your internet speed is. That's something else you can try doing as well. And then one final thing we can look into here as well would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, it's a command prompt. Right click on it and then run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in IP config followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen and hit enter. Successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, close out of here and you want to restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point, your issue has been resolved and you should be able to get into the Call of Duty servers. Like I said, there may be issues with Activision's servers that are preventing that from happening. You may want to check on Twitter or other websites too, just see if other people are reporting the other issue in real time. It may take a few minutes for the server status update to take effect. It might not show if there's an outage right away, so just keep that in mind. So pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.